Hey guys, how's everyone doing today? I'm Erin Birch and I'm going to do this video today on oh, recruiting. This is on recruiting. If you want to bring in way more people into your business, you need to understand that there is a very fine line on when you bring up business. So if you find yourself uh, jumping in and talking about business too fast and people get annoyed and they end the conversation with you, you're never going to sign anyone up. If you don't know when to bring up business, then you're never going to sign anyone up. So what I love to do with my clients is actually go through their chats. Hey, Ronnie, how's it going? So I will go through my clients' chats and I usually see the same things that people do, right? You need to understand there is a very fine line how to do this. Um, you, when you bring it up too fast, you're pitching. Nobody wants to be pitched to. When you brought up business too fast before taking the time to build rapport, real rapport with people, that's gonna get you a lot more people coming into your business, right? Because you took the time to build rapport, they've now decided they wanna work with you. Otherwise, what happens if you go right into pitch mode and you pitch them your business before you have bothered to build rapport, those that do sign up are usually the ones that quit right away because they have no rapport with you. They have no relationship, no connection to you. So take the time to build that connection and that's how you're gonna have people joining you who want to join your business. Now, another issue I see people doing, hey, Helen, is they wait so long to bring up business and you're never going to grow your business if you never bring it up or if you find yourself taking you know hours or days to bring up business woo this is a problem this is a problem so when do you bring up business i'm going into this big time in the course i'm creating right now exactly when to bring up business how to bring it up what to say all that kind of stuff I, um, I don't treat, teach scripts because every time you talk to somebody, they are, an, in, they are an individual. So what I teach is more communication. So choosing on what to say depending on that individual is the way to do it. You're personalizing the conversation so that the person you are talking to does not feel like they are just a sale to you. And that is how you build rapport. This is how you create this relationship where somebody goes, oh my God, I, I want to work with you, right? That's what you want. So never ever bring up business before you have built rapport. Now, how long does it take to build rapport? You can do it in a minute. You can do it in two minutes if you're good at it. If you take the time to learn about the person, you say things that are specific to that person. When somebody knows you've said something that you've already said to 150 people that day, they, that takes, <clears throat> you're not building any rapport, right? You know, there's nothing wrong with saying, hey, thought it'd be cool to connect, how are you? <clears throat> That's better than I see we're like-minded individuals, in my opinion. But it doesn't really build rapport. Because when somebody says that to me, what's going through my head is, they've said that to 150 people today, I am just a number. But if I know they've taken the time to look at my timeline and they have said something specific to me, that builds rapport, right? So take the time to learn about your prospects. Say something that indicates to that person that you bothered to learn about them as a person. Like you might actually care that they are a real person, right? And that goes a long way to building rapport. It does not have to take hours or days. You can do it in a couple of minutes when you get really good at it. But you have to take the time to learn about that person. <clears throat> it's well worth those couple of minutes. And always keep in mind as well that, you know, not everyone's going to join you in the first five minutes you talk to them. Absolutely not. Because they have stuff going on in their life, right? It might not be the right timing for them. All, there's all these reasons why somebody might jo not join you in that very first conversation when you bring up business. And that's okay. That's okay, right? If, they, if you've built a relationship with that person, when the time is right for them, they're going to remember you and not the person who pitched them. Nobody joins pitchers. I mean, if they do, they quit. They quit pretty darn fast and they don't stick around. They don't become a true business builder with you. So you want the people that you are going to, you know, build an empire with, right? And you're only going to do that if you've bothered to build a relationship. So I hope this helps you guys out. Hey, Seth, how's it going? 
Hey, Jennifer. So I hope this helps you guys out. If you got some value from this, if you know anybody who could use this information, uh, feel free to comment, like, and share. That's always appreciated. And that is it for me. I'm off to do some homework. Going to Joe Dispenza's advanced workshop in Cancun. We fly out on Monday. So I've got some homework to do before that happens. So I've got to get at that right now. So anyway, oh, and you guys, those of you who are working with me, I will do a training on the stuff I learn at the Joe Dispenza workshop for you too. So I'm looking forward to that. So I'll do that pretty quickly after I get back. So anyway, have an amazing day, you guys. Take care for now. Bye. Oh, I'm losing my voice. Bye, guys.